All right, we're shooting. What are we shooting again? The shit. Yeah. Ah. <clears throat> Took me so long to set this up because I haven't done it in so long. Inside. By the time I got it set up, now my back's hurting. It's okay though. We can go a few minutes. I always go a little more than a few though. Anyways, I found a new way to set up my uh, thing to do. Perfect angle. We'll see after this one. Yesterday I was doing the BB gun one and I can't get the thing <laughs> to just stay straight and aim at what inside I can. I can lean it against something. Need like a tripod or a one of those things they use like uh, when they set up their music. You know how the orchestra they have the tall thing and they put their music set this on that and it ain't. Yeah, I don't have a GoPro to do this. I don't need one. I have my HD. My fire pad. Wonderful videos, wonderful sound. I just have to get good at it, you know? Anyways, I'm just, like we said, we shoot the shit. And, um... I have made one. Too hot to do anything outside. I went the other day. <laughs> My, I, me and my metal detector don't have luck. I went the other day at the park, uh, swept around for about a half hour before it got hot, and I found a penny. <laughs> I'll keep doing it. I want to go to baseball fields and playgrounds and shit. All I want to find is some gold necklace or bracelet or ring or. Gold's almost two grand an ounce, so it's good exercise and um, shit, you know. Maybe while I'm walking around, I find something. I got to show you something too. I'm gonna do some other real quick things. Show you some things and um. These are those expensive candies. They normally, they're in the white bag, and it says old fashioned candy. And then normally, they're, they're pretty pricey, but I go to all these. And um, I get the lemon drops for a buck 19 a piece. And um, man, they're really good. Uh, that's that. That's one cheap thing. And the. Uh, they're good though. Always is great to find like name brand good stuff cheap that just other person don't prefer maybe, you know. You got a lot of car stuff there. Ugh, man, my back is hurting right now. But yeah, those lemon drops, they, they just look like that. They last a long time, they're pretty good. Good. But my back is hurting now. It wasn't earlier, but today is just one of those. Ah, uh, man, if it wasn't for being so muggy, I would have done something. Okay, real quick. I was going to do this. And, um, I. I was ready to red carbon fiber there's two spots on my car my car's all black and I like it that way but I want just I've seen like newer cars like the uh, oh man I love it the uh, Hyundai Velocity I now have like black and then certain parts on the ground effects and here and there and around the top, but like little red accents. And I was gonna do that. 
I was masking it out and ready to do it, and then I thought carbon fiber just in one little spot don't look right. And I wasn't going to order more. And then, while I was thinking about it, I remembered. Well, I put my thing on it already for spraying paint, but this is the Rust-Oleum Peel Coat Matte Red. I have a full can. Another thing. Uh, what did I get it for? Dollar ninety nine at Ollie's. I bought this like last year and never used it. So all I gotta do is mask where I want it, spray it. Well, before you mask it, wipe it with like a good cleaner. Because my 303 other waxes, nothing will stick. So you gotta clean that area so it's just bare paint. I'm gonna hit it with this after I mask it and then you're going to just see the ground effect the vent and then around it is going to be that and in the front same thing where there's a little vent I'm going to neatly mask it and then shoot that it'll dry so fast because it's so hot and I two coats and it, it won't go nowhere. It's not a high uh, weather. Uh, they're all low. And you don't get beat by, like, uh, you know, weather. It's far back before the tire and in front before the tire. So they'll last. And if you don't like it, you just peel it off. Overspray, it ain't even going to stick to the uh, 303. I couldn't even get masking tape. I had that area. I had to completely clean it to get tape to even stick. Duct tape to even stick. Then once I traced it, I decided I didn't like it. I'm on um, YouTube, but I paused it. I got uh, Ozzy Osbourne on. I think it's crazy. Too. I showed you those, and um, that's what I'm going to do the next uh, day or two when it's not crazy. I'll probably do it in the morning. I really want to get out and do the metal detector thing, but I slept in, and for me sleeping in, yeah, it's like 7. So I, before, I would wake up at 5 for no reason. Now I started sleeping on my nice air mattress in my living room because I got the AC in the living room and it's always cooler in here and I don't really have to run it at night but if I want I can kick it on. So I, I, I sleep on the... Oh, it's a really good air mattress I got at Walmart. It's got twin. I leave it inflated and didn't just move it in and out. I sit on my bed, move it in here. I don't want to use it, I just deflate it. But the way things are going, the way this apartment is, once it's hot, it's hot. And um, I even have a, a dehumidifier running in the kitchen, and I have to empty it. If I leave it running all day, I'll have to empty it twice a day. And it's a big one. And same with the AC. If I turn that thing off, and after a few hours, it will be like 78 in here. Once this place gets hot, it gets hot. And in the winter, once it gets cold, it stays cold. It's very, uh, mm, not insulated as well. Uh, that's all I can say. I'm not going to step on those. Uh, anyways, but here's, uh, I haven't shown this one in a while. It's ESP LTD. I did shine it with the 303. Oh, that rhymes. See how it's shiny? Yeah. strength. 
This is the one that got me back in to the tires. Uh, probably bought this almost two summers ago. I think I paid like 180 bucks. ESP LTD. And it's kind of like what Kirk Hammond plays on. They make better versions that are more, you know, high end. They, they all make one better than the next. They all cost more. But for me, I don't need thousands of dollar guitars. I mean, like, until uh, I get the surgery. Which, that's why you always see me wearing these things. Just because my hands are numb. And um, because of the neck, my strong arm all of a sudden is weak. My, it's, it is goofy. What I think I'm going to do is I see my doctor on the 11th, July. I have one referred to a surgeon. And I want to get at least this hand done with the carpal tunnel. Now it's really non-invasive and um no, it's like laser or something, but like it's it's in inpatient or outpatient. You're right there for the doctor to do it and you're done. Put a band-aid on it and you're fine the next day. So I'll do this coming up. And I will let you know whenever I do. But yeah, ESP LTD. basically do right now is like um cord I don't have the I have it in my mind but I don't have like I can look and play cards but I can't like really go back and forth like I should my plucking hand is fine but um anyways hey I'm grateful for what I have you know things could be a lot worse and uh I do have it. It's just a matter of getting there, and um, I will. Just patience. That's who I am, though. Patient. Nice patient. Be patient. And um, that's not for right now. I, I just wanted to show you, you know, nothing specific. Just a couple things I'm doing, and um, I'll show you how things come out when I do the stuff on the car uh, with the rat, uh, spray uh, dip rather than wrap and it'll even be easier. Uh, the wrap is good if it's just on like a flat type with creases but like this is like a Nike symbol. It'd be really it'd take a really long time to get bubbles and this that and um with dip, I can do a couple of coats and, um, you know, I can always do it again or peel it off, you know. It'll just be a nice accent. I would like to get, uh, do my calipers red. Right? Calipers, yeah. Yeah. Cal yeah. And those things that go around your rim that are for anti-scratch. They're plastic and you rubber mallet them on. I don't know how well they stay on, but they would look cool if I do all the red stuff. Ah, it might be overkill though. There's the clock. It always goes off when I'm taping. But those, I, I not many people carry them in stock, and I'd like to touch them and see. I think they'd fall off and not stay. I don't want to lose one when you're driving and then you're fucked. You know. Oh, boom, sorry for that. Anyways, that's that. That was just me shooting the shit.